Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a Sephora haul. I have so much new crap, it's ridiculous. Feast or famine when it comes to Sephora where they launch all these new products at once. They have nothing new for weeks. It's really weird. I don't know why that is. So let's jump right in because I have tried some of these products. Let's start out with Josie Marin. This is brand new. This is her Surreal Skin Argon Finishing Balm and it's essentially, it's a primer. So I don't think she's had a primer before. I, I am actually wearing it today. I tried it on. This is what it looks like. It comes in like this really kind of cute mushroom type packaging and it's pretty thick the product is the consistency that's what it looks like doesn't really have a smell but it is a primer I wore it today and it's a really moisturizing the first thing I noticed when I put it on is that it um, hydrates white the first thing I kind of noticed is that it hydrates immediately and your skin is feeling super comfortable and moisturized. It's supposed to illuminate. It says the first ever anti-aging skincare finisher and makeup primer in one. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. I think it sounds really nice. It was not that expensive. I think it was like $36. And this kind of reminds me of the La Mer product that I tried that's like $250. It even kind of has the same type of glowy rainbow packaging. Next product, I actually saw her launches on QVC and they sold out so quickly that I was not able to grab one. But then like a couple days later, Sephora had it and it's the Whipped Mud Mask Collection. So they didn't actually have this particular product, but they, they sold them all in like bigger size jars. I tried this last night and I tried, this is the Cucumber Melon. No, cucumber aloe. It smells so amazing. So basically, it's supposed to hydrate, tighten, um, refine your pores, clean out, detoxify, basically your dream mask all in one. What I noticed immediately when I put it on is that it's a very comfortable tightening feeling. It's not going to suck you dry where you feel like you're like look like Squidward. My skin felt hydrated, but also tightened. So I noticed that like my pores were less, everything was even. This would be a great mask to use prior to like a night out. And it comes in all of these little different flavors flavors, scents. I should say scents. This is, I really liked that too. The next thing I got uh, is these, and everybody's been talking about them. It's the Cover FX Drops. I got the shade. What shade did I get? Sunlight. I wanted sunlight because it's like more of like this really pretty golden color. And I actually wanted that or celestial, but I was afraid celestial wouldn't show up on me. So you can see how liquidy it is. But this is such a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Really light golden shade. I chest, I, the moonlight is more of a champagne and I feel like everybody has that. The celestial is really pretty. It's kind of like a pinky color. And then I didn't need the bronzers because I have liquid bronzer already. So, you know, I'm trying to be kind of practical as I do this ginormous haul. Highlighters and what I have on today. This bad boy is beautiful. And I cannot believe she just launched something that has to do with candy, which I'm totally down for later. But this is the Glow Kit and Sun Dipped. So it has all these different shades here, so it'll probably be really be good for a lot of different skin tones. I mean, it's gorgeous. This shade, what is it, tourmaline? Tourmaline right here is beautiful. You can tell I was already messing around with them, but it's like this oh, gorgeous, like pinky lavender color. Oh, I can't even tell you, it's so pretty. So this is a really pretty bronzer. I think that this would be pretty for like, on top of a bronzer maybe. Uh, and then I'm wearing Summer Today and then there's Moonstone. So you really have a bunch of different variety in here. And I think this is limited edition, but so far this is probably my favorite one. I just think it's so pretty. And I clearly went back three or four times to Sephora. Uh, you know, when I had no kids. My husband's like, this is so dangerous when you don't have kids because all you do is shop. I'm like, I know. Oh, it's so, oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. Yes. So I read some reviews on this and it got fantastic reviews. It is the Paracone MD uh, pre empt series. It's the brightening eye cream. And pretty much every single person, like when I read the reviews online, loved it. I'm one of those people that likes to have a morning eye cream that brightens and then an evening eye cream that hydrates. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I like to have two separate ones because I feel like they kind of do two separate things. This is what it looks like, and I will get back to you on this because, I mean, oh, his stuff always smells like total shit. 
but this doesn't have a scent to it. So I'm totally down and uh, I think that might be a winner. Okay, as if I need another bronzer in my life, I feel like I have enough bronzers to last me a gazillion years. But this is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea. And I don't know, it was like, it was meant to be. You know why? I walked in and they had none left. And I'm like, do you guys have any more of these? And so she looked in the drawer and there was one left. So I felt like I had to buy it. Even though I wasn't going to buy it because I was like, mm, I don't really need it. So it's probably fine if they don't have it, but they did. And I thought that it was fate. This is what it looks like. And what I like about this is that it has a really pretty glowy sheen, but also these colors are very neutral. So this looks orange on camera, but it's actually very almost neutrally and this is just a beautiful neutral color so then when you mix them together it just creates a really pretty fun bronzer to wear all over the face that i will love it i'm not crazy about the packaging of these i don't like cardboard packaging i really don't it's just i just don't like it all right and then let's see what else did i get five there are five six seven are you joking it's so ridiculous. Seven of these lipsticks. I had no idea I got that many. Probably because I went back several times and they're only $17. So you don't feel like you're spending that much. But then you make four or five trips. And why did I get this color? I'm wearing Safe Word, which is a gorgeous gorgeous nude color. So this is just a beautiful nude. I think that it would be very practical for a lot of people. And that's the packaging. Uh, only $70. I was really shocked that of the price. I thought they would be at least 20. So this is Oblivion. This is a beautiful, uh, taupey gray lavender color, which I don't know why I buy these because I feel they look so horrible on me, but, and I'm trying to be like a poser. Like I can actually wear this kind of stuff and I can't, but I just fall for it. I think that this shade is so Pretty. And then I got back talk. But then this back talk is really pretty. It's like a mauve shade. This is more of a pinky mauve. Like that's really pretty. But it's not like a, like it's not too pink of a mauve. But it's like mauvey enough where it has a little bit of like the cool, cooler undertones that make it I think super unique. And then I got hitchhike, which is another comfort matte color. This is so pretty. This is gorgeous. This is like a rose this is a nice one this is almost that's gorgeous i love it and then i got uptight which is another matte what shade is this see i forget oh this is gorgeous another nude really pretty um a little bit darker i think and a little bit darker than back talk i got tilt but look how gorgeous that is i just think that would look really pretty so this was a, like a total i can't believe i bought that like, I can't believe it's not butter type thing. I don't know when I'm going to wear it. Maybe you guys can help me out what I could even wear it with. But this is called Conspiracy. And this is a pearlized one. Look how pretty that is. I just think it's kind of this brown color. But it has enough of a mauve not mauve, really wearable. And it's not poopy. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like it would be poop on your lips. But it's more of a, like... It's more of like, it has enough red to it where I think that you'll be okay. Um, but I do really recommend these. And I actually recommend everything that I bought because I pretty much love everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you if you do. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.